Hello there, Geminis. Welcome to your October. So I do sense that coming through for a lot of you, uh, where you are thinking about leaving one relationship so that you can go out and find the people that you love. And, uh, or at least you realize that, you know, you're estranged from your partner and it's no longer going to work. So I feel that you might breach the topic with your partner. And uh, I feel that, you know, rather than giving you, okay, go ahead, let, let's file the paperwork. I feel that your partner is going to talk you through it, meaning that, you know, they might say, let's give it one last try. Let's do this. Let's do that. And I feel at that point, you're just going through the motions, okay? And then for others of you who might already have another person on um, on the side, I don't feel as a mister or a missus, um, but I feel like, you know, you, you have in your eyes on somebody, somebody new. And um, I do feel that the new person is serving as a huge temptation for you. And I feel like the new person, there's a lot of chemistry there's a, a big sense of magnetism associated with that as well. So I do sense that coming through in a way where you want, you know, you're expressing how you feel about that person and you're giving them, um, you're giving them like, you know, just, um, you're exposing how you feel. You're, you're being very, very, I guess, like expressive about your emotions and how you feel about them. And I, I do sense that the overall, that, that looks really good, okay? Um, what I'm also feeling is for some of you, there's this, uh, something that you've wanted for a really, really long time. And I know that I'm keeping this for some reason, very relationship focused because I'm getting a lot of that energy coming through with this spread. And I feel like there might have been a person you've been eyeing for quite some time. They feel to me like they're larger than life in your eyes. So that could be, they might be in a position of status, authority, power. Um, they might be attached to another person, so be very careful. Um, and I feel like you have secretly or silently, you know, uh, admire them from afar, or you might have loved them from afar. And uh, you don't know, like, um, you don't know how to verbalize your feelings. You yourself might be attached to another person while you're eyeing or admiring another person. And so no one made a move, no, no one made a move, you know, for the past few months, no one did anything about it. And I feel like this is the month in which things are being brought on the table, you know, these discussions are being had. You are getting an opportunity to do something with another person, and I feel like you hold them in high regards. And this is somebody you've been eyeing for quite some time, okay? So overall, I would say that's a good indicator. It looks good so far. So let's go over this spread here. Uh, first of all, we do have the lovers as well as the two of wands. Now, both of these cards are relationship cards, okay? Heavy relationship cards. The two of wands is a partnership card. And the two of wands usually shows up for me in this deck as a long distance relationship. There's either some type of like physical, geographical distance between you and another person. All right. And um, I definitely feel if you are in a long distance relationship, it's, you know, absence makes the heart, heart grow fonder. But um, I also feel like as a Gemini and most Geminis, the energy for the Gemini uh, people overall is coming through. And now you're the sign of the twins. And um, a lot of you go through life with a very, very, I would say, idealistic sense of love and commitment, okay? Um, idealistic is not always bad, but um, what I'm, I'm getting here is this. I feel that um, you have somebody in your midst that you have a very strong, you know, physical, emotional connection with. This is a very strong indicator of a karmic relationship as well. And the purple indicates, you know, like... Um, heighten awareness to me and the blue indicates spirituality it indicates like a an old soul it indicates like a almost like a soulmate connection where you both are meant to meet each other and to grow and to learn a lot from one another so overall it's a very very good combination but you know most soulmate connections and most karmic relationships tend to be a little bit difficult where you know uh, you have the male and the female the dichotomy between 
um, our essence and their essence. So meaning that you both are very, very different. And I feel like it might even show up in a way where one person is really tall, the other person is very petite. Um, different races, I, I'm, I'm feeling that. Different family upbringings, different expectations out of relationships, and just very different viewpoints. Okay, that's what I'm, I'm sensing here. So, when I mentioned you, that, you know, the idealistic sense in a relationship, what I mean is that a lot of the times, um, you know, like you, you get into, you, you idealize relationships. You feel that it is, it, it's almost like you're born looking for your other half. That's what it feels like to me because you're represented by the twins. So I feel like a part of you is it's always craving, missing that other part of yourself. So you go through re relation, you go through life automatically looking for, you know, your, your missing part. And a lot of the times you might project, you know, these very idealistic qualities onto your partner. And um, you want to be careful about doing that because they're not supposed, you know, your partner's not supposed to be like you. I feel that uh, we learn a lot from people who are opposite from us or and especially who do things differently from us. Otherwise, we don't really grow. Otherwise, the relationship stagnates as well. And if you're too similar, you know, like uh, that can also be detrimental as well. So it's sort of like we, we grow through oppositions, right? Um, conflict and opposition uh, helps us shape our character. Hardships build character, like they say. So I feel like um, you might aim for, in, in the past, like some of you might aim for relationships that were built on like harmony, on nicety. It was built on the facade. It was built on, you know, like this, um, this veneer. But I feel that what your soul is really longing for is um, a relationship where you both can grow together as a unit. Okay? So I feel that if it sounds familiar, a lot of you are shedding these idealistic expectations. A lot of you are coming to the, this whole maturation process that, you know, uh, I, I do want a relationship that helps me grow. And if you're stagnating in your current relationship, you're not going to grow anymore, okay? And I know that's a very long-winded um, kind of tangential uh, message, but um, I'm getting a lot of messages with this card. And it's it's basically your card, your representation, coming out in the very, very beginning of the spread. And another sense that idealism can play out here is absence makes the heart grow fonder. So I feel like you might be with somebody and the um, magnetic attraction is very, very great, but then it's so hard for you to work together as a unit. And as a result of it, you break up. And then once you break up, you start missing them. You know, And then vice versa, you could be dealing with somebody like this who's like, you know, a little bit kind of, um, I feel like they emotionally a, a little bit stunted okay so like they when when you're there they don't miss you but when you're gone they keep trying to reel you back in so I feel that your expectations of what you want a relationship and and versus the reality of the relationships that you keep finding yourselves in these things need to match up right so um, going through a process of re-examination is going to be important for you because I feel like uh, you need to break these habits or these um, um, tendencies to, you know, uh, want one thing. But then it's sort of like looking for love in the wrong people, in the wrong places. So just be careful about that, okay? Now, going back to these two cards as a... Um, as an energy that I'm getting, it's sort of like, you know, wanting, longing for this perfect idealistic union with another person. And we can get a little bit too tunnel vision, a little bit too fixated, okay? And then on the other hand, I feel like a lot of you might be in a uh, long distance relationship, mainly because the two of wands indicates, a, it's a relationship card, but there's only one person depicted in the spread. And they're longing, they're looking at the world, and they're, you know, wanting that opportunity to reunite with their other half. So I feel like a lot of you are starting out this month feeling very hopeful and possibly very in love. But I'm going to do your love reading in a little bit. This is what I'm sensing, okay? Um, some of you might be in a work um, type of a business partnership too. 
And I feel like there's going to be a lot of talks about where this relationship or this work partnership is going. There's going to be discussions to balance out the responsibilities, such as, you know, who needs to do what. And there, I feel like innately there are some imbalances here. It seems as if you might be in a relationship or in a work-committed partnership and one person seems to be doing all the work and there are going to be some grievances that comes up for this month and you're you might need to like physically sit down and have a conversation with another person okay so that's coming through um, the next two cards indicate here is the Emperor and the nine of cups the nine of cups first of all this is a wish card and um, the nine of cups indicates like um, a state of emotional fulfillment okay so something that you've been longing for that you've been eyeing is basically made available to you it's on the offing for you and the opportunity is going to be really great I feel for a lot of you you might have uh, wanted a job that involves a lot of travel because uh, I'm getting the energy of the, the world the globe here and it came up twice already First with the two of wands here, the, the world, and then second with the emperor. And then others of you, you might be, um, I feel like you might see somebody, um, somebody in your environment that you really, really admire, like a person in a position of authority that you really look up to. And I definitely feel there's going to be some breakthrough where you get to talk to them. It can be a romantic partner or somebody that, uh, that you're crushing on. Or it just can be somebody in a um, position of authority. So you might be invited to some functions, like some dinner, something where food and wine, I feel it's like overflowing. And uh, you're going to be in the presence of really, really uh, renowned people and they're going to give you like quite a lot of good insights okay so i do sense that coming through and um on the other hand for others of you i feel like it can play out in this way in which if you've been eyeing for something you've been working really really diff uh, like hard on to procure a client to secure a job i definitely feel a lot of blessings coming through um, due to your diligence and your hard work and your power of persuasion, you might be thrust into a position of authority as well. So this means, you know, landing that corner office, somebody giving you some, some perk at work, such as that really beautiful office, such as landing a new assistant, um, such as like um, getting some type of, I, I feel like, approval and recognition but it, it's it's very like off the, the the books you know so like a promotion for example is something that is getting recognition on the books however this is more like getting some type of approval or something like that um, off the book okay it still makes you feel really good because you're not one to care about you know the spotlight so much you, you do your work but I feel like you're getting some type of off the books uh, praise um, recognition and I do feel for a lot of you it's on the professional front where you are handed projects for others I, I do sense like um, you're talking you're giving a speech or something like that in front of a group of people so you're thrust in the limelight and you might have to think on the spot you might be making a toast at a wedding but I feel more like a speaking engagement where you're receiving something possibly like a diploma possibly like a um, a trophy or something like that where someone who is very very knowledgeable in their field is giving you recognition for something as well and that can also be public okay the next two cards that are here um, is the eight of cups as well as the queen of wands so the queen of wands let's talk about this first this is shown up here as a fire sign so a uh, Sagittarius a Leo or an Aries let me see other indicators here so Sagittarius Leo or an Aries what I do feel with this Queen of Wands here is um, for some of you this can be male or female Sagittarius Leo or Aries this is somebody that you might be um, romantically involved with or it's somebody that you could be married to but I do or in a business partnership with okay and I feel almost as if the relationship if it's 
personal or if it's business. It seems to me like it's very, very unbalanced for some reason, okay? I feel like it's, um, there's a lot of luck coming through. They might be a catalyst for you to make a lot of money or they might, you know, uh, as a couple, the, the, the image, you know, the public image, it seems really, really good. I, I feel that way. Like, you, you both, like, look really good together, or you both, like, complement each other really well. But I feel the emotional aspect w within this relationship, I feel like it might be lacking. And uh, you might not have, like, a common vision. And I overall, I feel like there might be a sense of emotional uh, estrangement within this relationship, okay? Which brings me to the next card. And I feel like they're a very nurturing, caring person overall. Um... But I feel like, you know, if you're an air sign and they're a fire sign, it's a really dynamic relationship. It can be really good as professional contacts and as prof in a professional way. But in terms of, like, getting to the root of the emotional state, I feel like the emotions might be lacking. Um, which brings us to the next card, which is the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups is a situation that we have invested a lot of our time, resources, and energy, and also a lot of our emotions in. And in this situation with the Eight of Cups, it indicates like uh, removing ourselves from a situation that is no longer emotionally uh, satisfying or fulfilling for us in order to chart out new territory, in order to find something else, okay? I feel like... A lot of you are following your heart, following your intuition, and you're at a point where you can't lie to yourself anymore. You can't just say, you can't go through the motions anymore and just say, oh, this job is, you know, uh, average. Uh, I'm just going to do it for another five, you know, five months or whatever. I feel like you're at that state where you want that emotional fulfillment. You want to feel... You want your other half, almost. It feels like you, you feel kind of incomplete in some ways and on the emotional front, and you're going to have to, like, venture out into the world in order to find something new or in order to find whatever it is, okay? Um, I also feel for some of you, um, you might have been dwelling, if you're single, you might have been dwelling on a situation um, like a secret crush unrequited love or something like that um i i, I see that and um, i feel like i feel like you're no longer keeping yourself hostage you're going to venture forth and find your own happiness find the person that is meant for you because you are coming to the realization that whoever that you were dwelling on you know it wasn't the right person because they never came forward okay so there it seems to me like a lot of regret and a lot of disappointment associated with this card as well now he's heading in this direction towards where the moon is lit right and that brings us to the next card here with the moon so the moon indicates a situation that didn't have very much closure for you. Um, the moon is a really uh, foggy, wavy type of a, a card. It can indicate spiritual, like uh, psychic abilities, spiritual uh, enhancements in spirituality, uh, our intuition, uh, you know, kind of uh, being heightened for this month overall. But in this spread, what I'm getting here is that a lot of you are in a situation where you just didn't have all the answers and you stayed and stayed and stayed around waiting for that, you know, uh, major awakening to come through, major breakthrough to come through. And I feel like you kept yourself hostage at this, you know, anticlimactic, um, in this anticlimactic situation and you weren't progressing anywhere and you felt right now for this month you feel as if you've kept yourself back you have kept yourself from uh, achieving your your soul's desire from your true love so this could even mean you know being in a, a work environment where people verbally they say that oh you did a really good job but they never gave you a raise they never publicly um, acknowledge you does that make sense so I feel like they gave you enough. They fed you scraps and, and things like that. And they gave you, you know, praises. But the work that you're doing, I feel like you might not have been, you, you, you feel like 
you went through the motions, but it wasn't enough, okay? And you wanted, you know, that pay increase. You wanted, uh, they promised you the world and they didn't deliver. And then others drawing on a past partner who might have flirted with you, but, you know, never follow through. But I feel like there's some sense of, like, um, major awakening where you might realize that I need to move on and I need to find something better for me and I need to take better care of myself and I need to keep my vision uh, clearer and I need to not settle. So I, I definitely see you kind of like taking charge of your life. The energy that you're bringing to the table is actually very, very like fiery for this month where you are less tolerant with people and who are all about the talk and they have no actions to follow uh, up with, okay? So I, I feel like you're, you're not as tolerant of, of this as other months. That's what I'm sensing. So with this moon card, it's, it's uh, going back to what I mentioned earlier about a situation that was a little bit fuzzy. You couldn't let it go because um, you didn't have the closure. You didn't have the t full picture. You didn't get any type of concrete evidence, but you know that um, you can't really hang on to it anymore, mainly because it's you know you, you were racking your brains trying to figure it out, and it exhausted you. So I feel like you released and I feel in the process of releasing, if you have already released it um, beginning of the month, you're going to come across some vital information that will give you, you know, bits and pieces that you can put together to form that big picture that you've been wanting. You might have told yourself that, you know, I, I just want to get closure and clarity. I just want clarity so I can move on. If I get the clarity that I need, then I can totally move on. And I feel like that's what's going to happen for you guys this month. It's linked up here with the Temperance card. And the Temperance card deals with moderation. It deals with like doing things in a very systematic manner, in a very careful manner. Okay, so it means like uh, weighing things out. Weighing out your options very, very carefully and very, very methodically. It's also about not jumping the gun. It's also about like um, not overindulging, okay? So I feel for some of you, you might be dealing with some uh, disappointment in the past. And um, when this card comes out, it basically means, you know, self-care, taking care of yourself, respecting your body, and be very careful about what you ingest and what you uh, put into your body, okay? So the, the moon card with the temperance card um, and this is something, this is a complaint that I've gotten over the past few months about, you know, uh, whenever I do a reading for Geminis, I do see a lot of drinking, okay? I, I do see that for the past three months, and it does worry me, but um, I don't change the messages that come out. I just relay the information. So this is something that I'm seeing once again. The moon is also a card about mild depression. Uh, the temperance card deals with you know, overindulging in drinking. So I'm sensing that for some of you, you might be dealing with this situation where it's like mild depression. Your emotional state is very, very up and down. Now, the, the Gemini symbol is the, the twins, and a lot of, um, there's a lot of that energy about split personality. You know, what you feel versus what you do in real life don't line up. Okay, so on the one hand, you might say that um, I need closure so that I can move on. And then when the closure comes, you regress or you backtrack. So be very, very careful about the tendency to like um, be careful what you wish for. And when your wish wishes or yeah, when your whatever you wish for comes to fruition, you need to follow through on your end. So, for example, you say that I just want some. Uh, closure. I want some clarity. I want the big picture. And when you finally get the big picture, how are you going to react? How are you going to deal with this information? Uh, you need to follow through on your end of the bargain. I hope that makes sense, okay? So that's what I'm feeling here with this spread. Um, now, in terms of your advice, we do have some, some things here. Um, one of the things that I'm sensing very, very strongly here is that 
a lot of you need to, you know, figure out what it is that your soul is really searching for, okay? Because I feel a, li a, a little bit of like um, losing a sense of direction, losing your footing, trying to test out different waters, and trying to find that perfect fit for yourself. This is professionally, this is emotionally, this is uh, pertaining to, you know, where do I want to live? So the energy here is very, very up in the air. It's very uncertain. But the uncertainty is not always bad. You know, people, uh, I feel like a lot of you might be frustrated with the uncertainty. But the way that I'm looking at it, uncertainty is actually a very exciting time in life. So one of the things that they um, want to emphasize here is that um, don't look at what other people are doing. You know, it, this is kind of like looking on looking on to a specific situation. Don't look at what other people are doing. Find something that is unique to you. Find something that makes you really, really happy. And find something that taps into your skills, that, that utilizes, you know, all that you have to offer. Not just, you know, don't, don't just get a job. Like, for example, if you graduated as a computer science major, find a job, uh, you, you want to, you know, get out into the world and find a job that is um, computer science related. And you feel like that's it. Um, I feel that, you know, as a holistic person, you want something that is creatively you and that is unique to you. So maybe there are other jobs where you can utilize your computer science degree, but doing something completely different rather than working with computers, you might do something different. You might do teaching, for example. So find something that is unique to you and don't compare yourself to what your peers or the people in your environment are doing. Because I feel like that that whole process, you know, um, can, can give us a false sense of security when we are looking at somebody who's really, really successful and we emulate in their footsteps. At the end of that journey, you're going to realize that, you know, you wasted time doing something, um, replicating something. It has already been done before, but realize that it might not be for you. So a lot of you are kind of drifting when it comes to, you know, te uh, temperature taking regarding your career, your um, relationships, and, you know, figuring out where you want to be geographically. That's what I'm, I'm sensing. So, in terms of your advice, we have here the devil, which indicates temptation. Once again, it indicates overindulgence, drinking and smoking and, um, you know, being addicted to things. Um, a lot of the time, this can be an addiction to a person as well. Um, what I'm feeling here is a lot of you are dwelling on a situation. You waited, waited, waited. And um, there's this emotional up and down. You know, like when they call, you're on top of the world. When they're out, when they're not there, your world is kind of like flopping. So don't measure or don't tie your emotional state in with another person. Does that make sense? So it, it means like don't peg your emotional state, your emotional happiness on another person and especially don't rely on them to bring you that emotional high. Okay, you have to be stable within yourself. So this is coming in as a reminder that there is something in your environment that you are heavily dependent upon that might not be good for you. So you, whatever it is you, that you're depending on that situation for, be it the rush be it the, you know, that emotional roller coaster, that emotional high, you want to reassess. And I feel like it can be, you know, damaging for you long term emotionally or even physically. So even like if you've been drinking a lot or if you've been um, um, putting a lot of stress and strain on your body and not exerting any type of moderation, then I feel like you're going to start to feel the wear and tear and you're going to start to feel it, okay? So just be careful about this, all right, Geminis? The second card coming through is the uh, Four of Wands. And the Four of Wands is a situation um, that deals with the home. It's a marriage situation. It's also a situation where... Um, I feel like a relationship is being taken to the next level, okay? So first of all, I do feel that somebody is um, being granted a title here with the Empress. And this can also indicate like um, pregnancy, fertility. That's coming in very strongly with this spread. So be careful about that, okay? 
um, especially, you know, like, um, yeah, just, just be careful about that. Like, um, if you're not planning for it or, and especially for those of you who are trying, the energy is very, very good where we have the four of wands, which indicates a stable home life. And we have the empress, which indicates like a very, very strong, you know, um, maternal figure. What I'm also getting is for some of you, um, you honestly might be lusting after somebody who is already in a committed relationship whether or not they're happy that's not you know that's a, a that doesn't even matter so whether or not they're happy in a relationship it, it doesn't even matter it doesn't even factor into the equation if you know somebody is you know involved you leave them alone because um that can create a lot of energy interference for from your end or for you, for you and that can also like you know disrupt somebody else's karmic relationship okay so karma is between people and if it's if it's not you then you want to remove yourself from it because it, it can create a a lot of I, I would say like a lot of energy interference where you might not get the things that you want in your life okay so just be careful about that so I do feel a very very heavy energy here of lusting after somebody who might not be available I do see some temptation, and I do feel like um, others of you, I do see trying on a wedding dress. So you might have been uh, going through a, you might have been proposed to, and this is the month in which, you know, the wedding takes place. I do see some nice venues, and I do see, like, uh, very extravagant dresses and, and venues um, that are decorated and things like that. So I, I do sense some of you might be, getting married might be like transitioning changing your names okay so a lot of good energy is coming through on the relationship front as well so let me just see <clears throat> what's going on for you guys for love and relationships So can you show me what's going on for you guys, Gemini? So sorry for the interruption. Um, what's going on for your love and relationships for this month, Gemini's? So Gemini's love and relationships. Okay, so let's go into your reading here with the um, love reading. So the center of the spread is basically the, the situation right now, the current circumstances. First of all, we do have the magician, and it's linked up here with the two of coins. Um, I feel like a lot of you are coming into this month being single. You have ended a relationship from the past and you are starting like the single life where you are going out, having fun, being dine and wine or dining and whining another person. So I do feel that, you know, in terms of your power of attraction and your ability to um, engage with other people in conversation, in dating, in any type of adventure, your ability to um, attract others. Others are, are pretty much, you know, coming to you, okay? What's also uh, linked up here is the Two of Coins. And the Two of Coins is a situation where your emotional state, I feel, is still a little bit erratic, okay? Um, I feel like you have ended a really significant relationship that might have been very, very tumultuous in the past. 
and you're starting the single life and um, even though on the surface it feels to me as if a lot of you are okay with being single as well. You're not really, you know, going out actively seeking the right person, but you're making yourselves known. You're putting yourself out there. You want to be in a relationship, and I do feel like you have some options that you might be juggling, honestly, okay? So you have some options that you might just be um, weighing the pros and cons about. Um, I don't feel like you're cheating so much, but I do feel there's an element here about somebody, somebody Somebody like juggling two options should I or shouldn't I should I go with this or should I take that at face value so there's this back and forth coming through 